So here we are back in our regularly scheduled edit, and I wanted to get back into grade copying. Now, this isn't a new feature in 10.1. However, I get to call out a new feature in 10.0.2 that I hadn't necessarily mentioned. And I also get to clarify a couple things about grade copying. And I get to bring up something I've learned about DaVinci Resolve that's been in there for a long, long time, but I haven't actually known about it, which just goes to show you that no matter who you are, there's always something new to learn. So I've got this clip with a grade that's got three nodes. And these three nodes are a simple contrast adjustment, this animated grade, which is keyframed, and this motion tracked window. And just so you can see what that window's about, I'm gonna jack up some localized contrast just in his face. So that's our three node sandwich. And here are the new features in 10.1 and the clarification that I wanted to make because one of these things didn't quite work right at first. So let's say I move forward to this clip and I want to copy that grade from two clips back. There's now a command I can use, apply grade from two clips prior, which is the minus key. Boom, done. Now, you should notice if I scrub around, this does not copy tracking and it does not copy keyframes. It just copies the grade. Anything else, you need to recreate it. Now, there are the new copy and paste functions that are available, but those are primarily useful for tracking information and grading information. So. Let's say I'm unhappy about that track. It's not the right track, but I'll just ignore that for now. I can select this node, press Command C, select that node again, and press Command V, and now I've just copied over the tracking data. For whatever reason, I might want to do that. It's a little more useful inside of a grade, but you see where I'm saying. This is not useful for keyframes. So if I copy that keyframed node, go over here and paste it, you can see I can't copy and paste keyframes, which is a bit of a drag, but that's the way it works. And any other copy mode I might use, so the ever popular middle mouse button click, I select a destination clip, I middle click a source clip, and I copy from the source to the destination. But you can see, again, I don't get any tracking and I don't get any keyframes. I just get the underlying grade. Now, I would say eight times out of 10, this is probably just fine because you're gonna need to readjust your windows and track them into the new motion of a particular clip. And you're probably gonna need to re-keyframe things to fit the new needs of whatever clip you've pasted a grade to. However, if you had your heart set on copying and pasting keyframes, that's not happening just yet, unless, unless you copy a version inside of a single clip. So if I go up to the color menu and choose add version, automatically I'm gonna duplicate my keyframes. However, if I right click and choose local version, create new version, now I get a dialog, funnily named dialog, that gives me the option of whether or not I want to copy my marks, aka keyframes, or just copy the first mark and have the whole grade be static. So if I want my choice when I'm duplicating a version, I can go ahead and right click. If I don't need a choice, I can just use the menu option or the keyboard shortcut. Now, here's the fun bit. And for this, 
I'm going to make sure this grid is selected. I'm going to go into the sizing controls and I'm going to zoom and pan around. Make this a real push in. And I'm doing this to make a point. So, say I select this clip and I want to copy from that clip. Now, by default, I'm going to copy the sizing along with the grade, whether I middle click or whether I use these apply grade from one clip prior or two clip prior, or even if I grab a still or apply a memory and then copy from the still or copy from the memory. It all works the same way. However, and this is the thing I didn't know until a few days ago when I asked about this, there's this new pop-up menu available in the keyframes editor. I don't believe I mentioned it before, although I record so much training, I don't even know what I say sometimes. But this is conveniently positioned to allow you to choose among all color or sizing options in here. Now, ordinarily, this is useful when you're doing keyframing. So if you only want to keyframe the particular node you have selected, you can choose color and you can see that the keyframe track updates according to the node I have selected. Or if you only want to keyframe sizing and you want to make sure you don't accidentally keyframe the grade you're working on, you can choose sizing. Here's what I didn't know. Whatever you have this pop-up set to, and it's mirrored in the mark menu, there's this keyframe timeline mode submenu. Whatever you have selected here affects what gets pasted. So if I select this clip and I middle click this source clip, you can see I have only copied the sizing. I haven't copied the grade. I'm gonna undo. If I select color and then I middle click to copy the grade, I copy the grade, but I don't copy the sizing. And then of course, if I select all and middle click, then I get the grade and the sizing. So this is actually an incredibly powerful tool if you're copying grades around using any of the controls, using memories, using gallery stills, middle clicking, using the equals and minus keys. However you're doing it, these three controls make it really easy to target what it is you want to copy. It's a very cool feature and honestly, I kind of wish I knew about it a couple years ago.